We start with breaking news at 6. A family has come forward claiming the child dumped along a trail in Hacienda Heights last week. Good evening, everyone. I'm Chris Holmstrom. And I'm Sarah Donchi. We now know who the child is, according to a man who says he is her father. CBS News' Jeff Nguyen, he's live now in Hacienda Heights with the very latest. Good evening, Jeff. Good evening to you, Sarah and Chris. Right now, um, candlelight vigil is going on right now, and the mourners out here are asking us to give them some space and not put them on camera. So we will certainly honor that request. So the first thing I want to do is put up a picture for you to take a look at. This is a picture we're told of nine-year-old Trinity Jones. Now we spoke to a man who says he is her father. He tells us that his family believes it was his little girl that was found on a trail in Hacienda Heights last Tuesday by some workers. Now her body was. Found partially inside a duffel bag. At this point, the coroner's office has not, or at this point, the coroner's office has ruled that this case is a homicide. Now, Antonio Jones, who claims to be uh, the father, says that he learned about the identification of his daughter through a family member who gave DNA samples to investigators. They also say that the body found has a chipped tooth similar to that of Trinity's. And at this point, investigators are not confirming the identity. Of the body. Uh, we are certainly giving the family a lot of space. Uh, at this point, they do not want to talk to us about who had custody of Trinity, but uh, they do tell us that there is going to be a news conference uh, by the Sheriff's Department on Tuesday, and they also say at this point what they want to do is focus on their grief. But uh, that's the latest from here, and we'll uh, certainly have more for you as the night goes on. But for now, we are live in Hacienda Heights, Jeff Nguyen, CBS 2 News.